Hello there, Mad Mike here, and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be looking at the trailer for Infinite, starring Mark Wahlberg, Dylan O'Brien, and Chris Evans. Um, and this, uh, apparently th this movie was actually supposed to originally go have a, some sort of a theatrical run, but because of reasons, they've decided they wanted to put it direct onto Paramount+. Plus. So this is actually going right on Paramount+, Plus on June 10th. Um, now, the, the trailer itself, which is presumably the final trailer, since it's already the 1st of June, and this is going to be coming out in nine days, um, it, most of the, at least, at least probably the first half of the trailer... Uh, roughly is taken up by this opening scene that is basically it's an entire scene of the Mark Wahlberg is is chained to this table um, and this kind of uh, nefarious looking or like like threatening guy basically since Mark Wahlberg is being held against as well that we assume that this is a torturer or something like that he comes in holding a sword um, and then he puts out a bunch of other items onto the table in front of Mark Wahlberg and says, which one of these is, is yours? And he says that it's not. And he, they explain something about Mark Wahlberg having schizophrenia as a kid. This, this is basically all backstory on the movie. Uh, like, the backstory, anyway, of Mark Wahlberg's character. So, like, I... I understand a little bit of going into this, but like I feel like it's a bit long of a scene to do that. It is an interesting scene. I don't mind it. Um, and it basically has the, this guy who, who has him held hostage just keeps playing Russian roulette with this revolver until finally Mark Wahlberg holds this uh, eye patch, and then he has these flashbacks of like somebody like attacking with an axe, like a wife and kid, like ba like back in like hunter gatherer times. It looks like. Um, so there's a bunch of this this shit that we see, uh, and basically they they then explain that Mark Wahlberg is part of a select group of people that are reincarnated, uh, and they've lived a thousand lives. Um, so this is kind of a I mean it, it's a little bit of a weird, pre I, I shouldn't say it's a weird premise, but it it's kind of one of those things where it's okay. So what outside of that are we looking at because. The actual synopsis for the movie is that they're supposed to help save the world somehow. So, I, I mean, I don't necessarily know how that works. But I understand the idea of, like, okay, they don't exactly have superpowers, but they have so much experience that they can tap into that they just basically know how to do everything. So it's kind of like Bradley Cooper from uh, Limitless, basically. That, that's kind of the idea. Um, then at the end of this little thing, after he holds on to this eye patch, then this woman plows through the wall in what looks like an armored sports car takes out a, uh, pops out of the roof, takes out a submachine gun, blows uh, Mark Wahlberg's handcuffs in half, so that way he can, he can just, just like, snipes out his handcuffs, and then tells him to get in the damn car. Um, after this, then we kind of go into your traditional trailer fair where there's a bunch of scenes, you know, there's a little bit of a, a chase interlude where we see... Um, Mark Wahlberg and this random woman uh, driving in this armored sports car through it looks like a, a police precinct or something, and then the the torturer, or the the guy that was holding him hostage, is like driving behind him in in this massive truck. Uh, so we we have that action set piece, but other than that, we don't really see too too much in there that can allude to anything else. But we basically know everything we need to know at this point about Mark Wahlberg's character. Uh, you know, in, in this last little montage, they see a bunch of stuff with uh, with Mark Wahlberg kind of running around and doing various things. There's a, a few car stunts, like a car spinning around and guy in the, the driver's seat takes out a gun and shoots out a helicopter light and stuff. So there are some decent action scenes. Uh, there's, some, there's a scene where Mark Wahlberg is lying in bed and it looks like a bunch of water rushes in, which I'm assuming is like a dream sequency thing. Uh, that's not actually what's going to happen in the movie. That would be kind of interesting if it did, but I don't think so. Uh, usually they try to use that stuff for, you know, incorporeal things. Uh, so there's really not too much. Like I said, they give us the background on Wahlberg's character, so we basically kind of know that going in, but they don't give away too much else about the story, which is not a bad idea. Um, again, you're, you're going right up to the release date now. This is going to be the last trailer that they do, uh, most likely anyway. Maybe they'll do one maybe like the day before or something to get some hype up if they don't think the numbers are going to be that good. Um, but regardless... I mean, it, it doesn't wow me. It doesn't show me anything that makes me say, oh, I need to get Paramount Plus to see the new Mark Wahlberg movie. Um, I mean, that, that sentence, you know, follows a logical path all its own, but regardless of that, the the, the whole stigma of, of Mark Wahlberg at this point is that he's just, you know, that guy from Boston. 
you know, that's unfortunately what he's evolved into. He does have some good movie roles. I do like him in other things. I liked him in uh, Lone Survivor. I liked him in um, uh, The Departed. I thought he was very good. Again, he's playing a Boston person in that. Um, the fighter, again, Boston person. Like, he he's, does a very good job of playing himself, let's put it that way, you know. Play, he, when, when he has to play other things, he, it's usually very hit or miss. Like, I don't mind him in Shooter either and some other ones. Um, he's going to, even though Dylan O'Brien and Chris Evans are in this movie, they are not really shown in this trailer, so I can't really comment too much on them. I don't know if there was an earlier trailer before this. There probably was, but I didn't watch it. Um, so... I, I can't comment on them at least from this trailer, but they're gonna. The, those two guys have been in the acting business a long time, um, and I think that you know you, you have a fairly experienced cast kind of leading this. There's a lot of people with names. There's a lot of people that know how to act and have been in the industry for a while. So that is a good thing to kind of balance out the Mark Wahlberg like Jesus Christ. You know the the the. I shouldn't say that. that was kind of just a weird thing, but you know the Boston accent, you know, Pocky Cod, Harvard Yard, that kind of thing. So, you know, every once in a while that does bleed through. Like, there is a moment early on in this trailer where he actually says, he says Jesus, and you, it, it comes through clear as day, that Boston accent. But, um, you know, I understand it's going gonna, it's gonna to bleed through. Like, even some, even when you do language training and stuff like that to try and get rid of shit like that, it's still, sometimes it still sticks around, so... I, I understand from that perspective, but like I said, you got Chris Evans, you got Dylan O'Brien, both of those guys have been doing stuff. Dylan O'Brien's actually been doing a lot more action stuff, oriented stuff lately. Um, he did that movie Assassins uh, with, I think it was Michael Keaton, um, which I thought looked actually relatively good, and it, it, he, they, they've been, you know, they've been doing action for a while, so if this looks like an action-heavy movie, so you, it's probably going to be a good spectacle film. It looks like they're going pretty light on the plot, but Again, it's an action movie. You can afford to have kind of a backseat plot as long as the action itself is pretty good. But that's the other thing is that I mentioned before. Nothing in this really wowed me. The car, the car stunt in the middle was kind of cool and a couple other things. Like the car like just randomly plowing through the wall, which probably would have been a better moment to just kind of leave in the movie uh, instead of uh, ruining it in the advertising. But I, I do get it because it's the final trailer and it is going to streaming. Um, but, you know, that's just kind of my opinions on it. But as usual, I'm going to link the trailer in the description below. So if you want to watch it, you can. But I want to know what you think. Do you like Mark Wahlberg? Do you not like Mark Wahlberg? Are you excited for this project? Are you not? Um, do you like the, the supporting cast? Uh, you know, put your thoughts in the comments below as usual. I like to read them. Uh, hit the bell for notifications. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And remember, I live my life free of compromise. Do you? Yeah.